Hey guys, Bo Harrison, CrankyK9Dogtraining.com. This is Maddie, my star pupil. She's such a sweetie. Um, we just brought her out of the kennel, and uh, we're getting ready to do a off-leash training session here. Um, they're usually super excited when we pull them out, they're ready to work. And so uh, a lot of you guys are going to notice that when you get your dogs out and you're ready to train them, you got about 10 or 15 minutes where the dog's mind is not with you. Um, you're back and forth and healing and sits and things trying to get them sharpened up and get them focused and paying attention. Towards the end of your method though, once your dog's better training has got some more impulse control, we do something totally different to get them working. We're going to put them on, we bring them right out, we put them on a three minute sit stay into a five minute down stay. That gives the dog's mind time to chill calm down you see her looking around she's checking out the, the the area she's taking in the smells she's letting her excitement die down um, and instead of moving back and forth and working her and and really her just kind of failing for the first 10 minutes of the lesson before we really get into the heart of the lesson um, we're just gonna come out and just kind of ask her to sit still um, just gives her time her mind time to uh, think about what she needs to think about and kind of soak in the sights, the smells, and the feel of the day. Check out what the temperature is and the wind and see if there's any cats in the field that she might want to go after. I mean, whatever she needs to think about, she can get out of the way. So after this sit stay, we're going to do a five minute down stay and then Maddie's going to be ready to work. So a little tip for you guys, um, just to get past that first 10 or 15 minutes of struggle in your, uh, in your lessons. Uh, CrankyK9DogTraining.com. This is Bo Harrison.